Hello my little fizzies and welcome back. Today I am doing my Ipsy bag. I am still on the waiting list for Glam Bag Plus, but I hope to get it eventually. So this is the $10 bag. It's very cute, rose gold, and it says, and off she went to change the world. So let's get into this bag and see what's inside. I am enjoying that Ipsy is now including a note of all the products inside the bag, and I do have written on here how much everything costs so you guys know exactly what my glam bag is valued at so let's get into it also i did pick a winner for my birthday giveaway it is Kay wilson i did already email k so hopefully they get back to me and i can send them out their gift so congratulations k if you are watching let's get into this the first thing i am pulling out is a pharmacy green clean i believe i did get this in Boxy charm not that long ago. Is that correct? Did I get this? I don't remember. It smells nice. I don't remember if it worked or not, so I will give it another try. I did research this, and based on the full size, this sample size comes to $4.53. Already halfway to the cost of my bag. If you consider that this bag is probably about $10 in and of itself without the shipping fees and everything, I mean, just the bag itself, you could probably buy at a store for $10.85, so $10 and you know what I'm saying. Just the bag itself I think is worth $10 because I've been to places before where they sell little makeup bags for $10, so everything else inside is just a bonus, so I'm already happy with the value of my bag. So We did get the pharmacy, which I will use. I love makeup removing balms. My favorite is from Clinique. Also, I work for Clinique, hashtag Clinique Consultant, but um, Clinique is the best of makeup removing balms. I used it every single time. But that sample is worth $4.53. The next item is actually a full-size Ofra highlight. It retails for $35. I just don't like this shade. I am wearing it today. I'm wearing it on my cheeks and I'm wearing it up here on my eyes and it is way too white. So I will be crumbling this up and putting it into my face powder along with some bronzer I don't like. That's too dark. So I figure if I take a highlight that's too light and a bronzer that's too dark and grind them up and use it as my all over face powder, I could get them both to work and that way I'm not wasting the product. This is what it looks like. It looks really pretty swatched on the hand but on the cheeks it's just, it's too light for what I like and up here it's just too white. I do prefer a highlight with a little more gold to it. So unfortunately this did not work out for me but I am very happy it was full size. This is. The packaging is different because if you buy this from the Ofra website, it comes in a square package. But I'm happy it's the highlighter is called Star Island. $35 value right in its right there in and of itself. So very happy with that. The shade just did not work for me. I don't know who that would work on. Probably girls with really deep skin who want like the white look. And just for me, I don't like it. The next Pro, um, next prize. Next thing we are pulling out is by Ivy Y. It is an eyeshadow single. It's from the palette full side and the shade is Get Soaked. And I do have it on right here. It is a very pretty matte pink shade. And I am also wearing it as blush. I just used a fluffy brush and diffused it. So the palette, get uh, pool, the pool side palette has 15 shades. And this is one of the shades. And this is a full size of the shade of the palette. The palette is $20 and it comes with 15 shades, so one shade is $1.67, which is what I value this at is $1.67, but it's very, very pretty and it's very, very pigmented. It actually makes me interested in buying that palette because that is a really pretty shade and I don't really go for matte shades, but this is a really pretty matte shade, so I am interested in the IBY Poolside palette. If you guys have that palette, let me know how it is. I want to say I saw some people swatch it and it was really pretty. They do not have IBY at um, Ulta, at the Ulta I work at, so maybe if they did, I would be more interested in buying it because I get a discount there. <laughs> Alright, and the next thing is an item I've had, I want to say a couple times before, is the Hello Fab Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. I did use it today, it did seem to go on really, really nicely. This is a 0.34 ounce size, so it's a third of an ounce, and to me, this value this size is valued at $5.38. It's okay. I don't know if I would 
buy the full size, but it did leave me very moisturized and I feel like primed. So it does do what it says it does. I'm just not a huge fan of coconut. So the smell is not my favorite, but it did seem to work. If it was one of the other scents, because I know um, First Aid Beauty has other scented items like honeysuckle and orange and stuff. If I would have gotten another scent, maybe I'd like it more, but coconut's just not my favorite. Then the last thing we received is the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. This is the travel size, so it retails for $12. This is what the brush looks like. And I do have it on my eyes today. I did feel like I had to really build it up. So it's not as voluptuous and voluminous as I like my mascaras to be. So this is also an item that I probably would not ever buy again. So out of all the items that I received, the only one that I was actually purchased myself is the poolside eyeshadow. I would buy another Ofra highlight. I do own other Ofra highlights, but to me this bag was kind of wah, 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 wah. but it had a value of $58.58 $58 plus the cost of the bag. So for me it's like a $65 value that I got for $10. So it's definitely worth it. If I saw all these items in the bag bundled together for sale, I would be like, 10 bucks? Yeah, I'm buying that, definitely. So, you know, to me it's worth it, but this bag is not the best. So I will go onto my profile and rate these items and say they just weren't my favorite. They didn't work out for me. But please let me know if you did your Ipsy unbagging, what you got in there, if we got the same items, if you got any repeats. And yeah, okay, congratulations if you are watching again. And I will see you guys soon with another video. Bye, guys.